Hey guys, this is Zach Hampel at PNC Park in Pittsburgh for the second time this season. I was here in May to see the Rockies. Now it's late September, the Nationals are in town, and their magic number for clinching the NL East is just two. So basically, if they win here tonight, and if the Mets also happen to lose their game at City Field to the Phillies, there's going to be a whole lot of post-game celebrating. As for me, this day is special because it's actually the 100th game I've attended this season. It's not the first time I've hit triple digits. I've actually averaged attending more than 100 games per season for the last six years, but still kind of cool. Beyond that, just going to be doing my thing, running around and trying to catch as many baseballs as possible. Hey, do you guys know if there's going to be any batting practice? Yeah, I did. Uh, be our next no, 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 we're not talking about Donald Trump. All right, Washington Nationals, are they hitting today? Nobody is. Yeah, they are. are. Okay, so you guys can set up the tapes. Thank you. Man, I might have to cross the Pirates off my list of teams to see. This whole no batting practice thing is driving me crazy. I saw the Pirates in Philly recently, and I think I mentioned in a video there that their manager, Clint Hurdle, just doesn't like his guys to hit. I mean, I'm in the stadium, 4.30 p.m., with the season ticket holders. This would have been a great time to catch baseballs without much competition, but it's just dead. The grounds crew, they're wiping down the outfield wall. That's the extent of the action right now. <laughs> First ball of the day right there, Matt Latos just kind of flipped that one up randomly, caught it basket style. A new group of Nationals hitters just came up to bat. I was starting to scribble down my notes on how I got the first two baseballs. I hear people yelling, heads up, not wearing my glove. You can see why my thumb is a little bit purple right now. I actually barehanded a home run, and I don't think my cameraman was filming. Can't blame him for that. I didn't think they were going to hit one. He didn't think they were going to hit one. But that is my third baseball of the day. There's a lot of great righties in this group. It might seem ridiculous to play this far back in the second deck, but I really feel like someone's going to jerk one up here. Ryan Zimmerman, Jason Worth, I think Wilson Ramos is in this group as well. And there's not much competition here, so if a ball does come this way, I should have a really good chance to grab it. Here it is, here it is. All right, so long home run right there. Almost got caught up on the railing a little bit. I think that was hit by Wilson Ramos, I'm not sure. That one felt good. Offered it to the woman sitting right there. She's like, no, you caught it, you can keep it. tuning in, seeing me wearing a Nationals hat out in right field, hoping to see me catch a Bryce Harper home run, not going to happen. Batting practice is actually optional, and not all guys like to hit, and unfortunately, he's one of them. I haven't seen Bryce take BP out on the field for a few seasons. He used to be great. At City Field, he'd even go oppo, hit a bunch to left center. I caught some there, but now if you want to see Bryce take BP, it's not going to happen. How's it going? Not bad? Hey, sure. Two? Wow. Thank you. Two baseballs from Ali Modami. He recognizes me. He's been pretty cool over the years. He'll actually sometimes save commemorative baseballs for me. And uh, he didn't have any at the end of BP, but he said, I'll get you one. And he ducked into the dugout and then came out and threw me two. So that doesn't happen very often. Brings my total for the day to nine baseballs. Quick toss up right there by Wilson Ramos. That's number 10 on the day. Feeling really good about that. Can I combine the caramel and cheese? Into... Just cruised out to right center field for a moment because Bryce Harper is leading off this inning. 
Again, there's so much room out here in case he happens to yank one, I don't know, about 420 feet. It would be such an easy catch. Scoreboard time. Bottom of the fifth inning here, and this game is tied 3-3. Three to three. Over at City Field, top of the fifth inning, Phillies are winning 3-1. to one. Bottom of the ninth inning, Nationals are clinging to a 5-4 lead, and their all-star closer, Mark Melanson, just entered the game in his first appearance back at PNC Park since the Pirates traded him. Kind of cool to be here for that. He got a really nice ovation from the home crowd. So, Melanson blew the save. Pirates tied it up. Extra innings, 10th inning now. In the last 10 minutes, there have been three instant replay reviews. I feel like this game is gonna last all night. Bottom of the 10th inning, like I said, this game is never gonna end. Well, this video is never gonna end. I'm back out here in left field, just feeling the urge to try for a walk-off home run. I've actually only worn this ridiculous shirt once before in my life, and that was the night that I snagged Tyler Austin's walk-off home run in Yankee Stadium, just last month. So, maybe it'll bring me some good luck. Lifetime ground rule double, baby. Francisco Cervelli was up, and I just told some guys here, I'm gonna move over toward the foul pole, because he doesn't have enough power to blast one out straight away. So I hugged the line a bit, I saw a deep fly ball go up. I knew it wasn't gone, but I was thinking maybe it'll bounce over, and it did. It landed on the staircase right by the pole, scooted past some guys, and I fielded it like a ground ball, so that's where it hit the warning track. Whew, I'm out of breath, but really excited. Definitely worth staying all this time at the ballpark. My 11th baseball of the day. Love it. It's over here in Pittsburgh, and man, what a day. I hardly know where to begin. Pirates skip batting practice, Nationals hit, and they put on quite a show. I got four home run balls from them in various spots, even caught one barehanded. Got a few toss-ups as well, so I had seven when BP ended. I got two more toss-ups at their dugout, and then Wilson Ramos hooked it up before the game, so that was double digits right there. I hung out in the outfield for pretty much the whole game, and it was just so slow. There were a couple home runs to right field, but no action where I was, and the game just kept going and going and going. In the bottom of the 11th inning though, Francisco Cervelli hit this baseball, a ground rule double. It actually bounced up on this staircase where I'm standing right now, and I scooped it up. So that felt great. 11 baseballs total, I gave five of them away, but they all count for my stats, so that grand total is now 9,398. 6-5 was the final here, Jacob Stallings with the winning hit. The game lasted like four and a half hours, almost 30,000 fans in the house. The Mets won their game at City Field, so no clinch, but it was just a great, great night overall. Got a long drive ahead of me back to New York City, but I'll be walking out of here in a really, really good mood. Awesome times at PNC Park.